So this, you could be quite relaxed uh, underway on this boat. You can really feel these big shaft drive motors doing their thing. is true sports boat. You know, I'm hooking that turn in at 28, 29 knots. G'day guys, uh, welcome to a boat brokerage video. My name's Dan Jones, welcome to the boat brokerage. And today uh, we're doing a test drive on a Sunseeker 61 Predator, 2003 model. This thing is the MILF of sports yachts. I'm really excited to bring this to you today. So um, if you are interested in this boat in more detail, follow the uh, link to our webpage in the description. And if you wanna see a detailed walkthrough of this boat, that's gonna be coming up on your screen uh, just as we see now. So click on that link as well. Um, this boat is powered by a couple of twin shaft drive caterpillars. Um, it's just been anti-fouled last week. So she's got a nice clean bottom and Torquey is its middle name. So um, stonking great big cats. We do have a bow thruster as well. Big four bladed props with prop speed. And if you imagine, I'll cut to a picture of this. Um, the, the props, they're like half protected in tunnels. So the draft is not too deep on this boat, but the design of the hull curves in like that. So you probably actually have a little bit of directional stability um, with the design of the hull itself. Quite a decent amount of V-shape underneath the waterline as well. Uh, but I'm just gonna get this boat moving because I'm really excited to go fast. Um, it literally idles. I've got it in regular idle. You can dial down the idle speed. It literally idles forward and we've, we've, we've climbed through seven and a half knots. So you can dial that down and do a little, about five knots in idle, but she's got a lot of power. That makes it gonna be quite easy to do transverse thrust and in a parking scenario, but you do have to have your wits about you uh, because it's, it, she will get away if you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, let's go fast. Alrighty, so just bringing those revs up to a thousand. I'm just gonna get the boat straight on the plane. Um, sitting at the seating position, uh, currently getting a little bit of bow raise, but nothing, I actually don't lose any visibility there. Straight away, it feels like at 16 knots, I'm planing and she just wants to go. She just wants to go. That's, that's 1500 revs. I'll bring it through 1600 and then up to 1800. Oh, feel the power. Yeah, this, this, this thing's got so much spare, but we are immediately at 24 knots and I've done no trim on the tabs. I've got trim tabs fully up. I'm sitting at 1800 revs on the motors. The steering actually feels quite light for a big boat. She feels quite responsive at the moment. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit more because she feels like she wants to go faster. She definitely feels like she wants to go faster. So sitting at 1950 approximately revs there. She's the, the bow settles down into what I would assume is a bit more of an expected attitude on this boat. And that's giving me uh, 26 knots. Let's just give it a little bit more. She feels like she wants to go. Let's give it up to 2000. Oh, this thing is impressive. So what I like about this boat, I've just done that whole transition from slow to fast from the seated position. So this, you could be quite relaxed uh, underway on this boat. You can really feel these big shaft drive motors doing their thing downstairs. And now I'm gonna just see how she responds with some a little, a little bit of steering input. So I'm just sitting at 27 to 28 knots there. So, you know, just, a quarter to a half turn on the wheel heals the boat at a predictable in a predictable manner not reducing my visibility but giving me really good control so what i'm going to do increase the speed and i'm going to go out and take the boat through a turn yeah so like 
from this seated position at 28 knots through a hard turn, I lose a little bit of visibility from the pillar there. So that's where I would stand up and get it all back through the window. So that's, that's absolutely fine. And for a guy of my stature, 5'7", I can stand up and see through here, but I, I actually feel more comfortable just down there like so. Yeah, for a shaft drive boat, this thing's got really amazing uh, turning circle, I gotta say. I think it's that underwater profile that we just discussed, um, which is allowing us to do that. I would normally, um, I would normally associate shaft drive boats of this size to be a lot more sluggish than what I'm discovering right now. This thing is true sports boat. You know, I'm hooking that turn in at 28, 29 knots. I can see my wash just being nicely displaced from the middle of the boat. Nothing's coming across the bow. It is flat conditions today, so I can't give you a, a demonstration on what it's like through wash, but we'll go through a couple of our waves now. And that is just a dream. That is a dream. So what, what am I learning? If you wanted to cruise around at uh, moderately conservative speeds, I think that's gonna be about 24 to 26 knots on this boat. If you want to, and that's gonna be about your 1800 rev range um, or lower. If you wanna dial it up over 2000 revs, which is not over the top for a diesel boat, you're getting 30 knots. Um, you're getting 30 knots. And if you want a boat that's gonna be essentially a shaft drive, so therefore lower on the maintenance, but gives you that sporty feeling, this boat is absolutely a boat that's gonna do that for you. Um, it's impressive, it's powerful, but it's, from what I'm just learning right now, quite easy to maneuver. So anyway, um, that's it for the test drive. Uh, she works, she goes good, she's a lot of fun. And I tell you what, these motors just give you an exciting feeling. When you turn it on at the dock, then when these big cats fire up, they are an impressive motor to, uh, to listen and to feel. Um, it, you, you can hear all motors, but I think the, the terminology I'm gonna use on this Sunseeker is you feel it, you really do feel it. Um, so we're gonna do a walkthrough. If you're interested in a detailed walkthrough of this boat, follow the link in the description below. My name's Dan Jones. This has been Dan's Boat Brokerage. I mean, The Boat Brokerage. I'm mixing it up with Dan's Boat Life. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.